gracious, good morning. It is time for today's Jeep Shot. And today's Jeep Shot is brought to you by the trifecta of the letter P. So I was giving some thought to this uh, Jeep Shot, of course, and I was thinking about business. Small business owners, especially those who are bootstrapping, as in, you know, maybe starting it on the side, moonlighting, or just, you know, kind of jumping in because they are passionate about a cause or a particular topic. So, I mean, you have to think about it. How far really does your passion drive you? You know, when you're passionate about something, there's a tendency to want everything to be perfect, and really there is no such thing as perfect. And then, of course, there's that uh, variation of, you know, good enough is okay. And maybe good enough is not okay, but, you know, as long as you're not wearing yourself out for perfection, what you want to focus on is are you providing value? So if your passion allows you to provide value to others, then, of course, that is one way for you to monetize your passion. So as a business owner, starting off with your passion is a good start as long as you attach it to providing value. And one of the other, um, you know, the, the next P, of course, would be the payoff. So how long does it um, take, I suppose? Have you thought about how long it takes for you to know whether or not you are successful? Are you achieving those goals that you set out when you decided to start this venture? So, you know, when you think about it, it you sometimes you get caught up in the day-to-day -day and you're just busy doing or maybe busy thinking about doing and you know it gets frustrating sometimes because maybe things aren't happening as as quickly as you want it to happen which of course drives the third P which is a lot of, which means patience and I, I think we probably all perhaps heard that quote or saying that you know success could just be that next phone call or that next client is just one action apart away so if you just have enough patience to hang in there and to continue to provide value then your payoff will come but it's not I mean you don't know when right you know you get frustrated and you want to give up and it's just like oh really do I keep doing this or do I not keep doing this but you know what's around the corner and then sometimes you know just when you're just having those really dark days and you do get that phone call or you do get that you know sign I guess if you want to call it so really you know patience is good payoff is 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 the end goal but it will be helpful if you define what the payoff is what is it that you're actually looking for so you know when you start a business are you looking at creating a legacy business mean something that you just want to carry on and pass on for generations you know do it till you drop or you know what is your goal or are you building a business to sell so those are some things to think about when you are working on your business you know how do you know you've succeeded when is the time when have you reach the pinnacle of, you know, the success that you've designed for yourself, and if you haven't, you know, that's a really good question to sit down and write out what success looks like. Write out what you want your business to be as you are working it, what you want it to become, and, you know, what is the, the end goal, what is the final picture, how do you know you've arrived? So those were some P's and a whole bunch of other letters in there, but that is today's Cheap Shop, and it's a little rainy out, but I hope you have a prosperous week. Ciao.